You picked up the award for uh, Councillor Cunningham, a posthumous award, of course. Your, your thoughts on that at this time? So Malcolm was very much a, you know, a mentor and a friend to me and, and obviously a, a colleague. Um, and I think it's really fitting that he was um, acknowledged tonight. I'm just incredibly sad that he's, he's not here um, to see it. Um, Malcolm was seen by many, and not just in my party, but across the board as an exemplary councillor. Not just because of the way he dealt with casework and dealt with stuff in his ward, but on a city level and, 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 and a you know, wider UK or even Scottish level, people saw him as an exemplary councillor. I think the tributes that have came in from across the board really highlight that. Uh, you and, and he, of course, represented. He represented wards in the biggest city uh, in Scotland. Uh, what's the difference, would you say? Is there a difference in uh, being a councillor in a city environment like that as opposed to you know, other areas in Scotland? I think there's obviously challenges across Scotland that we all face, regardless of what local authority you're in. I would say, as, as Glasgow is one of, if not the biggest local authority, we have felt um, the cuts to local government even deeper. Um, we felt services um, you know, cut to the bone, uh, and obviously skeleton services coming about. And I know that's something that um, it was kind of shown in the video with Malcolm campaigning outside for our, uh, his, his local library, the Cooper, to, to, to reopen, and that man, they, they managed to, to do that. And I think that was that's something something that we've seen across, across Glasgow and across, you know, and across the kind of city. Well, a bittersweet uh, uh, win, if you like, an achievement and a lifetime achievement award. Will you think it be lasting? What would you say about the, the possibility of, of its lasting impact and of his lasting impact? Yeah, um, Malcolm was involved in so much across uh, Glasgow City Council in his time as a councillor. Um, and um, I, I think that that will speak for itself, his legacy in terms of it was mentioned about um, his role um, in supporting veterans. He also had a huge role on the licensing board. He loved being on the licensing board. And even um, at our last meeting, there was, you know, speak, it's, it's t there was there was comments made from from lawyers who were there saying how how sad his his uh, his passing would be. I think for me, as one of the younger councillors, it will be his role as a mentor to so many um, of our young councillors. Some of them were elected for the first time um, in May there, and I think that will be uh, a big part of Malcolm's legacy is that. He, he cared about you know, mentoring people, he cared about encouraging and supporting young people coming up through the ranks, which I think is quite rare in politics these days, sadly, but that was be, that, for me that will be one of Malcolm's lasting legacies, as, opposed, as, as well as everything else that he did throughout his years as a, as a city councillor.